YouTube, what's going on? It's Rob with Sprayer Splash Fragrance Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing the House of Duo Fragrances. If you're interested in finding out more, please stay tuned. I've been procrastinating on doing this video for some time, but as of late, I've seen such a uh, increase in the amount of videos being put out on, you know, these Middle Eastern fragrance houses that, that do duplicate or dupe fragrances that I felt like now is the time to put one out on Dua Fragrances. Um, Dua Fragrances is a house that I became aware of, I want to say maybe like in 2017, something like that. And I want to say it was because of a video put out there by an older OG YouTuber that uh, used to put out a lot of content that I don't really see him put out videos anymore, but he had kind of a rant video in which he was ranting about dual fragrances and I guess he had a bad experience. And I think for a moment that video kind of kept me from um, trying the brand. But eventually I kind of came around and I said, you know, I'm going to give these guys a a fair shot I purchased a fragrance from them and I was happy with what I had and I bought another and I bought another and when I bought the third fragrance I think that was the one that solidified do a fragrance as a brand that I would mess with and, and you know be a customer and purchase their product I don't want this video to kind of come off like me pushing the brand I just want to kind of give you what I think have been some of the positives and some of the negatives that I've experienced in purchasing fragrances from this house so the fragrance that actually caused me to support the brand and said hey, I'm, a, I'm a buy with these guys was this fragrance called Caribbean Supernova and this is like a blend they do these blend fragrances where this one is a blend of Elysium by Roja Dove and Virgin Island Water by Creed so I know the climate has changed in Fragcom content creators were Back in the day, we're not big on the dupe houses, but I think the dupe houses have showed that there is a place for them in this world or in the game fragrances. So um, when I'm looking at it, I'm always looking at, you know, quality, cost, and, you know, how fast I can get the product. Believe it or not, that's something that's important to me. So in regard to quality I believe most folks will look at this and say hey this presentation is kind of crappy all right and I 100% I agree this is a very very simple presentation and it's got a really cheap looking plastic top on it so I'll bring it up a little bit closer right you can see the top right very very cheap and the box in the beginning was worse it was the equivalent of a Happy Meal cardboard box honestly that they you fold together and it was a little opening in the middle and they set the fragrance in there and the fragrance would slide all over the place and eventually they got to a point where they had to put it in bubble wrap in that space to kind of hold the fragrance and keep it from coming out well fast forward to now they stepped the game up believe it or not they stepped the game up and they didn't pass the increase on to the customer that is something that i think needs to be stated this is the new box. I'm sorry I don't have the old to show you. I threw them all away. But this is the new box, and it's got the dual brand insignia across the front, all right? It's got some more information on the back. And when you open it up, it's got the fragrance, right? And the fragrance sits snugly in this foam cutout. And you actually have to really work to get this thing out. So it's definitely secure, right? And then they've, they've changed the presentation even further and they've made the top it's like this wood top and it's got a neck that matches the atomizer so they really stepped their game up and again they didn't pass that cost down to the customer and i think that was great all right so that's one part presentation two these aren't 
original creations. Like they do have some original creations, but for the most part, they, you know, they will replicate the current fragrance and they even will try to replicate, you know, classic fragrances that are no longer in production. So, you know, I think in regard to quality, the one thing or a few things that I know that people will often get turned off with, and I see it more in designer fragrances than niche, but when you first spread that really big alcohol blast, you don't get that. Spraying a fragrance and getting that chemical smell where it, smell, it smells like a kitchen product, you never get that. What you do get when you spread their fragrances is a lot of oil on your hand. Not to where it's messy, but you can tell this is an X straight. And it says on all of the fragrances, if you can see that, X straight to parfum. So this is a dark colored juice right here. This is called Reigns of Steed. This is a very, very dark colored juice, right? What do the juices typically smell like? To me, they, I don't want to ever say that these fragrances are a one for one copy, but this is their interpretation. And for the most part, I feel like it's pretty close. The average person is not going to really be able to tell. I mean, if you're sitting there and you have the original spray on one hand and the duplicate on the other hand, you may be able to smell some differences, but I feel like they do a pretty good job of capturing the essence of the original fragrance. And something else that I've noticed that they do is they will sometimes magnify certain notes that people will say, you know, hey, I, the fragrance was a really good fragrance, but if they could have made the opening longer or the citrus notes bright, the citrus note brighter or the vanilla, you know, deeper or something, whatever it would have been, or even if it's something that's bad, and a person might have said and like, or you may see that as a trend, hey, the cumin note is just too strong or it's just too animalic. If they pulled that animalic, you know, quality back some, I would really like it more. They kind of tinker and they'll make their own improvements in a subjective, but they'll make their own improvements. And, you know, here you go, here's the product. So I've been pretty much satisfied with the fragrances I purchased from Dua. You know, everybody's gonna have their own individual experience, but in regard to, is it a quality product? I would have to say yes. Next point, price. Are these expensive? I don't think so. They typically run from 50 to 80 bucks for 30 mil. Now, over the last year or so, I feel like they've increased the amount of 100 mil fragrances that they have in their catalog. So they now have a page full of 100 mil fragrances, but I'm not really focusing on the 100 mils. I'm focusing on the 30 mil, which is typically the size that I purchase. And again, the prices range from 50 to 80 bucks. Um, the higher the price is usually based upon the rarity uh, of the fragrance. If it's an exclusive fragrance um, and like some of the ingredients. So you will see like maybe some of the fragrances that are only in Harrods or uh, a Dubai exclusive or something like that. They're closer to the 75 to 80 range, but typically most of them sit 60, 65. That's where I, I typically will see the price point, but it ranges from 50 to 80. Now, I know some people might think, well, if you look at it price per mil, they're not that cheap. And I think that from 50 to 80, we'll take it from something like, I think $1.66 to 266, something like that per mil. If you compare it to um, some niche fragrances you can purchase on the gray market, around 200 bucks, somewhere, you know, a little bit below, a little bit above, it's kind of like right around there. So you may ask, what's the benefit? For me, I think it is, you can very rarely find a niche fragrance in a 30 mil bottle. I look at it as a glass half full versus glass half empty, because the way I choose fragrances from Dua is, it's typically from the houses that I believe are overpriced. That's my humble opinion. And no matter where you see their fragrances, even in the gray market, they are still 300 bucks plus. You very rarely ever see their fragrances in the low 200 or mid $200 range 
always 300 plus. And those are the houses where I kind of, I'm like, nah, not really interested. I, I do have fragrances that sit in that range, but when I see everything that you have for the most part is in that high price point, I'm like, nah, I'll get an inexpensive version of your fragrance. And if I ever run across the fragrance at a reasonable cost, then maybe I'll make the purchase. But um, I personally think that they're priced reasonably. And you have to add, they always have discount codes floating around, whether it be from 15% or 30%. I typically, you know, I'll wait till I get 30%, do a 30 code, and I'll go make my purchases. And that's gonna take a fragrance that costs 50 bucks down to 35, one that's 80 to like the mid 50s. So it's a win and I usually buy two or three at a time. So it gives me the opportunity to sample a copy or even maybe a uh, tri-blend where they blend three different fragrances together and see, you know, if I like it or not. And it's just, to me, it's another layer or piece of variety that I add to my fragrance wardrobe. So I personally enjoy having the brand as some as a go-to that I can get different varieties of fragrance that I can add to the fragrance wardrobe. I've got fragrances from, you know, all of the designer houses and a lot of niche houses. So this is like a nice little wrinkle that I add to, you know, what I do in regard to fragrances. So I think they're fairly priced and I take advantage of the discount codes, but you know, you be the judge. Last but not least, shipping. I believe that these guys are pretty slow when it comes to shipping. So this is the knock that I have to put out there. What typically happens when you get your order or a confirmation of your order from Dual Fragrances, uh, you will get like a notification within two to three days to say, hey, you know, be on the lookout <laughs> for your, you know, your product, for your purchase. And really what that simply is, is when you click on the link, it takes you to like USPS and use the post office to make the deliveries. And it'll simply say, hey, they've got notification that a package is gonna be coming to them for delivery to you. And a lot of times it, you are sitting in that state two weeks waiting for the fragrance to make it to the post office so it can start making its way out to you. So. If I have to knock them out, I'll knock them in that regard. I do believe that they could get better about getting their product out for delivery. I think that would, for me, make it like 100% like I have no qualms about recommending duo fragrances uh, to anybody, but that's my one knock. And I know for some folks, that can be a deal breaker. When you make your purchase, you are expecting that fragrance to be out of the door two to three business days. And with duo, that's just not been my experience. I've gotten some fragrances timely, but I would say overall more than not, it's, I've got to wait a while to get it. And you know, with them being based out of California and I'm in the Midwest, it takes a while for the fragrances to get to me. So guys, that's my, my take on dual fragrances. Um, I think it's a solid house for the, you know, the dupes, re replications, inspired fragrances, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let me know what you think about dual fragrances and let me know what are some of your favorites from the house. So if there's somebody out there that may be thinking about making a purchase, they'll have a few fragrances that they can look at and say, hey, maybe I'll look into this particular fragrance as a possible option. I thank you for coming and checking out the video. Until next time, you guys stay safe. Later.